Hello, welcome to our review of season two, episode five, Cake. My name is Leanne Grayson. Leanne Grayson. Okay. So why is she practicing her name and pageantry stuff when uh, she, <laughs> you know, where she grew up, you know, like, I'm Leanne Grayson from blah, 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 <laughs> in front of a mannequin. Like, and who says I come from Wisconsin? Like, right. I don't say I come from L.A. You don't say <laughs> I come from Bahamas. Like, that's weird, right? You just say I'm from wherever. Right, right. Yeah, and she's sitting in front of the mannequin. I don't know if she's mani manifestation on, of the mannequin of, like, her and her mom, Dorothy, to her mom. I don't know if that makes sense. She's like projecting her abusive mother on abusive Dorothy. Right. Who's been kind of right emotionally and mm -hmm. definitely physically abusive last couple episodes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because later, yeah, later on in the show, it shows maybe. her mom was a drunk. It looked like, it sounds like she was abusive. Yeah, yeah. And sounds like her mom may have been jealous of Leanne. Yeah. And, and was it a real mom? Yeah. Was it a, a cult pageant? Was it a real pageant? Right. Probably wasn't a regular pageant. Maybe it wasn't her real mom. Maybe it her, her cult mm -hmm. mommy. Or, maybe, we'll find, maybe we'll find out. Gosh, who knows? Uh, and then the whole thing with moms, the last episode, 2 a.m., uh, Dorothy had brought up um, something about her mom and how she brought, how every morning she would, um, they would start with an oh, egg. Oh, the egg. Yeah, yeah, she did say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. And didn't George say something about her mom. Oh yeah, George in season one had said um, they called you Dottie, right? Like Ooh. he knew, you know, knew or he called her called Dottie, you. and yeah, she said, "Oh, my mother called me that." Ooh, that's crazy. So I think we we're gonna find some things out about the moms. Maybe I thought you know this episode really was confusing. I was confused the whole time. <laughs> I, I liked it, but I was confused. Uh, Leanne very much in control though, and very manipulative the whole time. I didn't mm -hmm. feel like she was really in danger here. I felt like she was the one in control of all this. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that? Too? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, last episode, I definitely felt she didn't want to be there. But this episode, I think she's like, no, I need to be here to do what I need to do mm, to you. Yeah, what does she to need to people? do? <laughs> I think she's going to bring the pain. And I, I do love how they, they bamboozled Toby. Like, he was like... Because how do you explain to him why you made him drug Leanne and drag her carcass out the house right and they came up with this great great uh um cover story like oh she was kidnapped by the cult and being brainwashed and we had to get her out of there it's like mm -hmm. brilliant i wouldn't think dorothy was that smart but mm -hmm. and glad they did that off camera <laughs> wisely and going along with it she could have told she toby is. any any time she could have told him at toby's any moment. totally on her side oh he's he's like just you know. smitten yeah, he'd like, do anything she wanted. <laughs> he's like, "Did you lock? Did they lock you in here? You know." So oh, she go to the cop. He go to the cops in a minute if she if she told him, yeah. but she's not. So so I think it's mm. about time he quits giving her mixed signals. He asked her on a date, but I think he quit this episode. <laughs> he's pretty much like in love. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I do think I do think he hasn't like, especially in first season, how he's all apprehensive because I think he's intimidated. And feels like Leanne's out of his league. I haven't he's thought kinda, about that. You know, he's not like, yeah, yeah. you know, Joe quarterback dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, what did Dorothy say one episode about, um, you could do worse. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, whatever, yeah. Dorothy. Yeah, great. Would she go out with, with him, you know, with Toby? Then right. He's not bad. He seems like a nice kid. But he was giving a lot of mixed signals. Yeah. Um, but then you see they left the door open for... Yeah, when that crazy yeah, yeah, for Leanne. music's playing, the, mm -hmm. the classical music, and she comes to the door looking at what's going on, they left it open. She's like, oh. Right, yeah. And yeah. Leanne walks down the stairs. She sees Dorothy mixing the pancake mix like a crazy person. She looked absolutely <laughs> insane, right? I think she was doing it on purpose. I think Dorothy was trying to look menacing, oh, you yeah, know, maybe. with that knife, you know, so she oh, can... because she pointed the yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think she wants to scare... She's trying to scare her, To scare right? Leanne. I don't think it's working, though. You know, so... And they didn't feed the poor girl for two days. I, yeah. 
So I don't I don't know how she went without food for two days and isn't famished and scarfed down those I pancakes would be out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have just ate everything possible. But uh, Sean making me want prosciutto. He, I don't know what this was about, but he's standing there. Dorothy's calling for Sean and he's just zoning out eating prosciutto and drinking wine down in the basement. He's probably just so happy he can taste, but he's also popping <laughs> pills. That's true. Well, he's got to be in a lot of pain. That hand, yeah, that hand. That oh, crazy, my God. Yeah, right? that hand. That it hand. didn't seem to bother him much, maybe because he was popping them pills, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, he could feel stuff now, so. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Then Toby comes to the door. She invites a guest. Yeah, okay. A friend. Right, right. So let, let me let me jump in here. Did you guys all notice when, it, it takes a lot to notice this, too, I think. Go back and watch it. Toby's face when Dorothy opened the door. Like he looked at her like, and then, and then immediately his, his, like a scowl, like, ugh, almost like he was just like sick of Dorothy, you know, like she's just insufferable. Yeah, yeah. he's smiling and he just immediately it, it, was it's like, It's very uh, quick, very yeah. quick. And maybe I'm projecting or whatever. No, but I, I went back and watched it. You watched, he you saw it, right? He, I saw yeah, it. Yeah. I saw it. He, I, so, and Sean is just totally freaked out about what had happened, you know, yeah, the night the, before and right, at breakfast, right. and what you did, you know. You know. So and mm-hmm. yeah, then Leanne is Leanne is, is she's like, done. She she's like an <laughs> impetuous teenager, sick of Dorothy. I'm done with you. Mm-hmm. F you kind of attitude. Like right. mm, I don't I'm want your pancakes. Eat your food. Yeah, Dor- yeah she, she's yeah. like, no, I don't want the pancakes. And Dorothy throws <laughs> the pancakes, you know, right, at right. her. Um, and then. Yeah, then Sean, like, did you notice how he threw Dorothy's pancakes out like they were garbage? And don't, like, he didn't just throw them away. Like, I paused it. And his mm-hmm. face was like, like, he was throwing out doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, and I thought, okay, does that mean something? Is he, is it his distaste for Dorothy's new plan of action? You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Did maybe. you notice though that the pancakes were heart shaped? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> that's <laughs> they were. That's crazy. Yeah, because she's kind of treating Leanne like a child. Yeah. Yeah. How old do you think Leanne is? By the way, if she's... I was to 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 guess, I would say sixteen. But I know that she's. I think they said she's nineteen. I think she's nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. I thought in the the. The show she was nineteen or twenty, but she mm-hmm. she definitely seems younger, and they're treating her like she's a kid. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, my first reaction to in all this was, how is Toby acting like nothing happened? He just drugged her, and uh, you know, drug her co- co- her carcass home. But you know, then again, I guess it does. Like I said earlier. They explained it really well with the whole cult thing, and they mm-hmm. they got her out of there because he was like, you know, I guess you just got wrapped up with a bad crew and, right, you know, right. all that kind of thing. But mm-hmm. yeah, that was, mm-hmm. you know, just uh, that was the first thing that struck me is how is he just like flirting and acting like, hey, yeah. hey what's up? <laughs> I'm you know? sorry, I'm sorry, I drugged you, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Dorothy said that she was kidnapped, you know, by from the cult, and right. they're recovering, you know, they're helping her recover. And but Leanne, she was said under their influence. Dorothy explained it to her, so that's true, and that and that she understands, you know. Wow, wow. <laughs> but that is uh, that's brilliant. I, I wouldn't have thought Dorothy would come up with that. Yeah, maybe Julian. If, if Julian came up right. with it, yeah, I'd have been, yeah. I'd been like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. But I wouldn't have believed Dorothy. Yeah. So, like I said, it's good they did it off cameras because I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Toby says he can relate. Yeah, you know, when he he said he did blow and you know, and then he asked Leanne on a date. Yeah, but Dorothy totally shut him down. <laughs> totally <laughs> shut him down because you know Leanne was just like, hmm, yeah, and then she's like, oh, well, you know, when this is all over. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. So. <laughs> and she's just she's talking down to Dorothy. She, um, walk walks her to her room. I think right back to her room. They get the first ransom that says "Till no one baby lives," but that I yeah, think was, that Julian. was Julian. That was Julian. Yeah. I think the first one that says "Tell Tell no one." Yeah, that's the one lives. he sent with the uh, the baby booty, right? He didn't know anything about this other one that came with the 
the little with the little baby. Yeah, with the figurine. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Leanne did that. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. it turns out it seems like Leanne is either from on her walks, you know, where she's able to walk the house. She went into Sean's computer, got his password, started ordering stuff with his credit card. She ordered the little baby so she can make her cake and uh, her king cake. Mm-hmm. And it seems like she set up the uh, the ransom thing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it seems that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when Dorothy walks her back to her room, Dorothy says she's not basically a bad person. She's not that kind oh, of God. person that buries you God, alive. God, I hate, and how I hate, desperate she is, Dorothy. you know, God. to get to, to get her, um, you know, to get Jericho back. So we were talking about how annoyed we were at Dorothy for acting so crazy mm. because there's no baby anymore. We we all know that. Whoever we're watching, we all know. But imagine if someone you know, did have your baby. Right. So. And that, that's exactly what M. Night Shyamalan said in his latest Reddit AMA, Ask Me Anything. Um, you know, we watched that and, and he, he didn't talk too much about uh, the plot, which I'm upset about, M. Night Shyamalan. But, um, <laughs> you know, I he was going by people's questions, I guess. And um, he did mention that, though, you know, like. I guess he was explaining it to his producers. And, you know, I love everyone in this room, but if one of you had my children, I would torture you, you know, to get them back or whatever. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. you know, that's something that I was conflicted by in the episode because we know there's no Jericho, right? She let him die with her negligence, whatever. Mm-hmm. She may not know that still. You know what I mean? So she thinks... They have her baby, and Leanne knows something about it. So it's kind of like, part of me was like, ooh, I hate you, Dorothy, for doing this. Another part was like, hey, you know, I mean, I kind of get it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, even even, uh, Julian says, I get why she did it. So, but yeah, Yeah. here's uh, what M. Knight said about this. Mm. And uh, the people on our show, we were on this big conference table, and they were like, you know, this is is pretty disturbing. I'm not sure I could stay with Dorothy. Dorothy, if she did these horrible things. And I said, uh, I'm not sure I relate to her, they were saying. And I said, let me just be really clear. I love you guys. I really, and you guys know that I love everyone in this room and I'm really connected to you guys. But if I thought you had my child, I would chop you up into small little pieces so easily without losing a little bit of sleep because you're going to get my child back. You guys, I would just, I would just annihilate you. And their faces were all gray. And I was like, I'm the dad. You can imagine what the mom's feeling. I was like, there is nothing that's going to stop a mom from getting her child back. So that belief system was imbued in there. Like, and I was talking to Lauren about that and, um, and that kind of that dark side of, of the, of the don't cross the mother, that, that, that vibe. So that's what drew me. All right. So there's only a couple things about servant <laughs> that he actually <laughs> talked about, which really upset me. A lot of them were, were, I thought, softball questions. but And I was mad at the Redditors at first. But then I realized, wait a minute, he's picking these questions. So I'm actually he mad is. at you, buddy. <laughs> and nice I, Shyamalan. You know? I agree with you. Yeah, he didn't answer enough questions about the I actual want more plot servant questions. show on the plot. Yeah, on the yeah. plot. Um, but I really like what he said about the directors, how you know he's, he oh. chooses um, different directors based on their weirdness or their quirkiness. Yeah, and he yeah, doesn't right. want them to be like him. He wants them to be themselves. And that's why, you know, each episode is, a little, is, a, yeah, is a little bit ignore different. Ignore their weaknesses. You know? and, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And keep yeah. us on our toes. I did like that, too. I'll, I'll admit that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but I, I'm with you. I, I, I understand. But there's other reasons I don't like Dorothy, you know, other mm-hmm. than that. Yeah, but, I mean. Hey, look, I, I, I was a single dad. Yeah. And I was a single mom. It was yeah, it was. I didn't rough. have a husband. It was rough. That yeah. was, I was alone with my baby all the time. Yeah. What, he can't leave Dorothy alone for four days. Right. You know, right. so. I, I worked full time and took care of my kid. During I worked all night, took care of my kid all day. I got two or three hours of sleep a night when I was, Mm -hmm. luckily I was like 19, so I was able to physically do it, but I never left him in the car, ever. I never left him. Um, There's a, well, first, you know, she leaves him, she goes, she brings in the groceries, she surfs the internet, 
<laughs> you know, I mean, on, she takes a nap. Plus, she's shown she's neglected Ner- Jericho when in the past by leaving him on the changing table, like all yeah. unattended. Yeah, for you too know, long. He, for a he could really long. Off. He totally could have rolled off. Yeah. Now, M. Night mentioned in that that AMA too that you know kind of where he got that idea. I guess it actually happened to somebody. Mm-hmm. He some, watched a documentary. Some, yeah, some guy did it, and mm-hmm. you know, still. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sorry for that person, but I'm also tragic. like, I I really have some disdain for him too, because like I said, I went through it and I never did that. The kid, the baby was my first priority. So mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. a really hard time, really hard time, um, you know, like I wouldn't throw hatred at them necessarily because they mm-hmm. already lost a kid, but I'm not going to give them much sympathy either because... You know, we went through it and we didn't do it, but yeah. I don't know. It, it's a hard thing. Maybe that's the whole point, you know? Maybe, you know. And I think about when she said in that episode, Jericho, where she said that he was, he, she had to feed him every 30 minutes. But it's like, well, it's if you baby. really, if you really, it's a baby, <laughs> yes. But if you really had to feed him every 30 minutes, which does seem excessive. Yeah. If so, she would have realized that she had left him in the car. Right, it was like 12 hours. You know, I, I don't know how much time it was, but it was seemed like it was at least yeah. a few hours. Yeah. But I think M. Night Shyamalan, this, he understands the kind of duality of it. Mm-hmm. And that's where he's coming from. Right. It's like, so he can see sympathy for Dorothy too. And I think that's where we're getting that. Why is there so much sympathy for Dorothy? Because it's built into it. You know, it's like we're all human and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. There's I have no, a hard time with it. No rhyme or reason. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, enough with that. Uh, right. Leanne's writing the measurements and ingredients on a piece of paper on the ground for her. In front of her for, mom, for Dorothy. Her, for her king, for her cake. Uh, um, while mannequin. Dorothy, yeah, while Dorothy and Sean receive a package at the door of the tiny baby figurine. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that, it was weird. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the figurine of course is a, you know, that it's a thing that goes into a New Orleans, New Orleans King's cake, which is kind of a famous New Orleans dessert. But uh, it also has a ransom note in it. That's asking for $200,000 and that, uh, you know, they think the cult's using their credit cards. Of course, mm-hmm. we, we know at that point we realize that, that's Leanne. Yeah, I didn't realize it was Leanne till the end. Oh, till, really? Towards the end. Oh, really? really? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I didn't. I I didn't know. Um, Julian and Sean decide to pay the ransom, and then Julian gives Dorothy a bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy and John. Uh, Dorothy and and Sean. Uh, they share. Before we go into that, they share a really sweet moment though in this that mm-hmm. I have to point out because we don't get many of those. <laughs> um, there was a part where Sean just says something kind of dumb off the top of his head. And normally Dorothy is real mean to him, you know, like, oh, you're so stupid, Sean, or something I expected. Mm-hmm. But instead mm-hmm. she was real nice. And then he responded and kind. So uh, it's when he was, se- they were selling stuff to get money. He sold that real expensive case of wine for half the price, right? Right. And then he, he was complaining about it. He's like, man, you know, I paid 1200 for that. I only got 600 like if you give me, if they would have given me another week, I could have got a better price. Dorothy says something like, "Well, that's one more week we wouldn't have Jericho." Like that was a real reasonable thing it to was. say. And then he it goes, was. "Yeah, you're right. Every little bit counts, you know." Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then they're cool. Like, wow, that was a great interaction between <laughs> them two that I haven't seen in a long time. That's true. Yeah, but then we'll get back to what we were talking about before. Dorothy says. Dorothy says to Sean, <laughs> Julian really came through. Yeah, with the money, right? <laughs> yeah, right. with and, the money. And Sean, uh, Sean says something like, uh, yeah, he's a real sweetheart, just dripping with sarcasm, mm-hmm. which she didn't pick up. But yeah. he didn't mention the fact that 66000 of that, the dollars, there was 86000 in that bag, by the way, if you all go re- kind of research. And 66 of it, Sean put in there mm-hmm. from their money that he was like, you know, yeah, and uh, Julian contributed 20000 20000 is a lot. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he I took credit 20, for all of it. He, yeah. He did. Yeah, uh, he, did. Was... he did. He did. He took credit for all of it. <laughs> uh, then he had to, then Sean had to sell his, think, that Gagia. 
Gaggia. That's so I the, wonder how uh, much he got for that. That's, that's the coffee machine, mm-hmm. the cappuccino maker or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she said they needed 20000 and then they sold that. So, I mean, maybe it's worth that much. I don't know. But he was upset. Yeah, it uh, was a little He seems funny. really, really <laughs> upset. <laughs> yeah. Plus, think about it. He knows it's not even his baby he's doing this all for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Deep right. down, he really knows. I mean, we see him kind of starting to believe and, and convince himself it is, but mm-hmm. really he knows it's not. So mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta think about that when you're looking at his pained face, you know. <laughs> He's like, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dorothy packs a bag in anticipation of getting Jericho back while Sean goes upstairs late for Leanne's furlough. I like that. Yeah. (laughs) A a recess. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) And I've now revised my thought about um, episode 2 a.m. What what do you mean? Um, Well, I said in that in the last video that I thought Leanne removed the curse from Sean because he was being nice Nice to to her. her. Yeah, yeah. But now this makes me think that she had only cursed Sean from the get go. For the price of being, bringing Jericho back. Oh, like a sacrifice. Right. He had to sacrifice his price. taste and he had to sacrifice his feeling because of that. Oh. But now, you know, Leanne is like, all bets are off. I'm not bringing the baby back. So there's no need for me to have these curses on you. So she took it off. Because she has no intention of bringing the baby back. Exactly. Oh, exactly. That, that's a really good. That's a really good thought. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that's one of the best, <laughs> best <laughs> theories we've had so far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. Especially the way Leanne's acting in this episode. I mean, I could see it because she is not at all afraid. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. Leanne hands Sean the ingredients um, to make the cake. And then Dorothy yells for Sean. <laughs> yeah. This, this is, they obviously did a nonlinear transition here. Uh, meaning it's just out of time sequence or something because Leanne gives the ingredients to Sean. Sean's like, yeah, 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 I'll get it when I can. Mm-hmm, Dorothy mm-hmm. yells, Sean, Sean. So he goes in the other room uh, like to go to Dorothy. And then all of a sudden we see a blurry female frantically putting a dress on a mannequin, obviously in Leanne's room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought that was Dorothy. And I'm like, I couldn't figure out why would she be doing that? But then when I looked at it and I watched it a couple times, I realize that blurry female is not Dorothy. That's Leanne. Yeah, yeah. I you noticed know? it right away, but Did I could you? see oh. how, how, you know, they can. How they this, how mm-hmm. they set it up to look like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe I, they I did I wonder if they purpose. did it on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why either. Uh, <laughs> you, see, <laughs> you see Sean packing a ransom bag. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, Toby <laughs> comes over at this point and knocks on the door and Julian, don't get me wrong. Julian is my favorite character, hands down, but he immediately starts picking on Toby, calls him Pillsbury Doughboy. Like, first of all, dude, you're chubbier than Toby. <laughs> so I don't know why. But He's been hating on Toby uh, since day one. Day one. It's yes, so. absolutely. And <laughs> then we see Dorothy in the closet looking for a dress. Um, she then rushes upstairs to Leanne's prison, sees her dress on the mannequin where, where uh, Leanne put it, and she starts to give her crap. Leanne just shuts her down immediately, says, you've got so many, and besides, it looked better on her anyways, and then walks away like, oh, Hilarious. yeah, I love that. I, I love that it. too. Le- Leanne <laughs> crack goes cracking on her, and it reminded me of in season one where Dorothy was putting on a bathing suit, getting ready to go to work, and Leanne comes in and Leanne says, um, oh, Dorothy, I think you look great. And Dorothy's like, oh, thank you. And she says, yeah, you know, everyone will be expecting you to be carrying a few extra pounds, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Same yeah. type of feeling. So Sean and Dorothy are heading off to the mall and Leanne and Toby are making the king cake now. Right, right. So king so. cake is a New Orleans staple, uh, like a traditional dessert that they make there. Usually, like on Sundays or whatever, Leanne explains how she grew up uh, having her mom, I guess, cult mom, real mom, we don't know, uh, make it for her every Sundays. And then, you know, some real sad stories, how abusive she was and, and so forth. So Yeah, Leanne gets upset. But this got me thinking. In the beginning, you know, we had Leanne saying, I'm Leanne Grayson from Wisconsin. 
Really? <laughs> Every Sunday you had king cake? They have king cake in New Orleans. I think you're Leanne from New Orleans. Not Wisconsin. No. She's practicing. Yeah. And what's up with uh, 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 New Orleans? Voodoo? You know, voodoo mm-hmm. and Catholicism. You know, with king cake is a big, you know, Catholic deal, but it's tied in. Mm-hmm. You know, so maybe maybe there's something there. Yeah, maybe. That, maybe. I think she's definitely making the cake as part of some ritual for what for the like for it. the whammy she's the planning. Whammy. She's <laughs> she's she planning to put on Dorothy. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, um, yeah. Because Leanne said when she's telling the sad story, she told Toby, you know, she wasn't able to put the baby in the dough. What putting the baby in the dough on the king cake, which is like a little porcelain baby that you push in there. It's representative of Jesus, and whoever finds it in their bite you know, has good fortune or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she says she's only able to do it when she had um, done well in her pageants. Um, right. So I don't and, know. And maybe. Only, she, only had, she only was able to do it four times, you know, and it seemed she, like that wasn't very many. So Yeah. So maybe it's part of the spell. She needs Toby to put it in there as part of the spell. I wondered because so. why would she let him do it? <laughs> Right. You know, unless it's, I thought maybe it was just show or giving. Yeah, spirit, maybe she's being nice. Right. But you, you might be on something. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe, maybe it Toby was. Toby asked Leanne where her mom is now. And Leanne says, Burning. <laughs> you get. She also said, um, I handle, I'm, I'm handling it. Well, when when he noticed the scratches on her, well, yeah, right? the three scratches, yeah. yes. And ask what that's. You know, what's that about? Mm-hmm. I'm handling it. She said, it. I'm handling it. And, she's, and that reminded me of how Dorothy said, I handled it in the pizza episode after she drugged her. Ooh, she's going <laughs> to handle Dorothy. Handle some Dorothy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, you know, Leanne then gets, um, well, Julian walks into the kitchen. Toby's gone. Julian asks, hey, where'd your little friend go? Leanne says, oh, he's, he had to go. He had to leave. So she's like, all right, he takes her upstairs to her cell and um, leaves. And she asks him, hey, make sure you pull out the cake and put the icing on it when it cools. He leaves. And then all of a sudden, Toby yes. comes out of the closet, you know, yeah. and he was hiding up there for her. Yeah. Obviously, she had him do that. Right, right. And Dorothy was drinking brandy in the last episode. Yeah. That reminded me so of the, the brandy icing. Brandy icing, yeah. And then uh, she's hmm, drinking brandy. Hmm, hmm. Well, it's obvious Leanne set up the ransom note. Okay, because... Mm-hmm. Um, and why did she do that? Why did she do that? She ordered the little baby figurine from Sean's card. Yeah. That was obvious, you know. Yeah. And um, Julian figured this out when he's on the phone with Sean. Right, he looked at his computer, right. figured out Leanne did both things. Mm-hmm. Ran upstairs, caught them two up there. Right, not sure why she <laughs> snuck them in her room. Yeah, they were just talking, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah. But who knows what was going on? Yeah, who knows yeah. what she's telling? But uh, Julian yells. Yeah, he makes Toby get out, and then he asked uh, her, "Why did you do that? Yeah, you know, why did you send her on that wild goose chase?" Basically, yeah, why'd you do that to Dorothy? Yeah, you know? and, she, <laughs> and then Leanne like drops the best line. Of yes. The episode. Leanne responded with, "Because I want to see her get what she does." So do I. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, then there's a shot of the king cake, and Dorothy says, um, "Maybe they'll feel comfortable on the outside." And she, uh, I'm sorry, I, I should make it clear. They were talking over the FaceTime. Okay. Dorothy was talking to right, Julian on the FaceTime. She's at the mall. Uh, they were talking about, you know, being comfortable on the outside, something, blah, blah, blah. And then Uncle George snatches the phone and puts his mug in the <laughs> phone and goes, Julian. You know, we're just like, what? <laughs> and Julian yeah. doesn't even notice because he he's, even notice. he's distracted by licking a, the spoon yeah, with, he, with the brandy he's frosting. The brandy on frosting. It. And <laughs> then, then, anyway, they, the, the doorbell rings. Uh, um, Julian goes to the door. It's the Turners. And this was great because you see Julian's face. He looks at the Turners, and then he looks at someone else, and I knew exactly who it was. Oh, you knew it was going to be George. I knew it was George because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, George grabbed the phone, but Julian's face was just like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And then George mm-hmm. busts in like the, the Kool-Aid man, 
You know, instead of saying, oh, yeah, he's just like, where's Leanne? Or, Where is she? You know, whatever. <laughs> so, so how does jo- Uncle, how do you, how does Uncle George know that, that they were at the mall? Leanne. Le- so Leanne. Leanne. I think Leanne's setting this all up. Okay. This is why okay. she's so calm, cool, and collected the whole episode. Okay. So she sent them on the wild gooch chase, you know, to get the, um, you know, take the money to the. Uh, she contacted George. Uh, the mall, and then she contacted George, letting him know they'd be there. Okay. I don't know if she said, hey, I'm telling you this, if he knew it was Leanne, Mm -hmm. that he knew they were going to be there. Okay. And he, you know, he's looking for Leanne. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. why, the big question is, why does Leanne want to hook up with George again? Personally, uh, I I have a theory on this. Like, earlier Mm -hmm. we determined that we thought Leanne was protecting the Turners from the cult, right? Mm Mm-hmm. But now, like you said, she's pissed at Dorothy. She's done with them, right? Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. now she's sicking the cult on them. She brought Uncle George in. Yeah. She brought the big guns. (laughs) Crazy Uncle George. (laughs) She's like, oh, you know, I'm not protecting you anymore. I'm going to let the cult get you because you need to pay, Dorothy. Yep. So And pay close attention to the next scene. Leanne's upstairs with her king cake. She sneaks down and gets it at some point, you know. Mm-hmm. And she's tearing this thing up like it's flesh. Yeah. The the music, when you hear it, if you didn't notice it, go back and watch the scene. Listen to the music. It almost sounds animalistic and guttural. Like Leanne's huffing, like she's snorting almost, like breathing like a predator. And she's kind of... And she's eating but the the music makes kind of like lion sounds almost it made me think of the mural and the lions yeah, when i when i yeah. was watching her eat that and then she pulls mm-hmm. the baby out and she just looks like she's, she's in some kind of like killer trance right she definitely know? didn't make the cake because she had a sweet tooth <laughs> you know she is she definitely made that cake to to put some type of hex or it's a whammy, uh, yeah, on, she put a whammy on, on, on Dorothy. You see the lights, the lights flickering, yep. You know, and she devours that cake, and she finds the baby. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's almost like I got the feeling that she was projecting her animosity towards her mom that abused her, you know, when she was younger, to Dorothy, who's abusing her now, and putting Dorothy's dress on the mannequin, and how she's she's almost like combining those two people in her mind dorothy Mm -hmm. and her mom into one and i think dorothy's about to get it right right well i can't wait till next friday's episode can't get here quick enough Mm, it's called espresso yeah yeah. (laughs) we'll see well we're halfway through we got five more episodes so if you like this please hit like and subscribe if you want more and we'll see you next time leave your comments of what you think yes Uh, thanks urban fans (laughs) bye